Hi everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Winning with SketchUp. In this episode, we are going to learn how to conform a road profile to a terrain surface and then how to deform a road texture to that newly created road surface. So let's get started. What I did here was just create a generic terrain and I can turn on hidden geometry and you see we have a very nice quad based terrain and I created this using the plugin Topo Shaper from Frito 6. If you're not familiar with that, you can go check that out. And I just drew the edges around the perimeter and Topo Shaper went and filled in the rest with a good clean mesh for us. And I've also created this little S profile here to represent a road surface. So it's nothing too complex. It's um, just some tangent arcs here that are offset with the ends connected. And what I want to do is move over a copy of this. You can turn on x-ray mode and go into top view and I just want to make sure that I am completely inside here of the terrain mesh. And let's get out of that, turn off x-ray mode. And the next step is I want to get into my group and I want to push pull that up. I want to make sure that I'm completely intersecting my terrain, which I am. And now I'm going to take my extruded profile and we're going to cut that. So we can do control X and cut that. And now let's get inside of our terrain group. And we can turn off hidden geometry here. And what we want to do is just paste in place. So we've just taken that from the outside of the group and we've pasted it inside of the group and used paste in place so it would paste it in the exact same position. And now we can right click with just the extruded profile selected um, as a group and go to intersect faces with context. So it will only interface er, intersect what's inside that group. So we go ahead and do that. And now we can delete our extruded profile here because what we're left with, and we have a little issue here. Uh, looks like this didn't intersect all the way. So that should close that up and now we have a face here on the inside or a surface you can see in the entity info we have a surface here that is cut out with these harder edges so everything inside is softened and the intersect just created a set of hard edges which um, kind of isolated this surface from the rest so what we want to do now is group that and we can get inside here and we see we have if we hide everything else, we see we have a nice um, clean group. And we could just go ahead, if we had a standard asphalt material that we wanted to lay down, uh, we could go ahead and just texture that here um, and call that a day and say that's our road. But if we want to get a little more realistic, and we can use a road surface material such as this, and this is just a road material I downloaded from cgtextures.com and brought that in. It's not even really a tiling texture. And we can take a look at what that looks like. And here's our texture here. It's just a square texture with the yellow center lines, the white um, lines on the outside, and then a little bit of dirt and road grime here on either side. So what we would want to do is deform this texture so that it follows this curve and we're going to use this option here of the um, through paint plugin from Frito 6 and if you don't have through paint that comes with the Frito tools and there's an option here called quad mesh UV and we can go and try to paint our road surface on there and you can see it's getting all kind of errors and that's because we have a lot of triangles in this mesh. So it's not a good clean quad mesh. In order to remedy that, we need to rebuild this road surface. So what I'm going to do is get in here. And I'm going to delete this center surface. And all we want are the left and the right profile. And we're going to get rid of the connecting edges here. So we just want the outer edges of this profile. And in order to create a good clean quad mesh for texturing, 
there's one thing we want to make sure of and that is that we have the same edge count on either side here so we have 251 and 238 so what I'm going to do is go through and I'm going to convert these edges so that they have the same number of segments and I'm going to use this plugin called BZ convert to and that comes with the BZ toolbar from Frito 6 um, which is the Bezier drawing tools but there's an option here called BZ convert to in your right click menu if you install that and I'm going to use the polyline segmentor so we have 251 segments now and I'm going to go maybe lower this a little bit let's go to 225 on this side and we want to do the same thing on the other side so we'll select that whole edge and we'll run that polyline segmenter keep it the same count and the benefit here is now it also welds these together so what we want to do is just select both sets of edges now and we're going to run the plugin called curvy loft from Frito 6 as well and we're going to use this first option here to create loft junctions between spline curves and what that's going to do is go through and it will stitch this together in a way that creates a really nice clean quad mesh which will allow us to lay down our road texture so we'll accept this at the default settings we could adjust the segments here if we need to but if we look at that now we have a really nice clean mesh here that's evenly distributed and let's reverse the faces there and now let's go make sure we have our road texture sampled and make sure we are in our quad mesh UV mode with surface as our selection type and we're going to go through and just line up our red here um, try to keep that straight here so something like that and that'll go through and lay down our texture we can see it laid it down the wrong way so let's right click with through paint still selected and go to rotate 90 degrees and now we want to right click again and go to tiling one by one and voila we can see that that went and textured our road surface we can even get in here now and adjust the scaling of this if we didn't want maybe the dirt to show up as much on either side we scale that that way and we could scale it the other way if we wanted um, this isn't a really well tiled texture so we don't want to scale it too much this way because we'll get that contrast difference there but um, you can see overall that's a very nice clean deformation to our texture and it's following our road very well we can take this one step further here if we wanted to add let's say a curb here all we would have to do is pull our road surface down on the blue axis and we could pull that down to whatever the height we wanted our curb to be and let's exaggerate this a little bit just for demonstration and now what we want to do is get inside here and I just want these outer edges so I need to select those outer edges and turn off the texture so we can see what we're doing we could double double click here and then deselect the surface and grab those outer edges if we wanted and copy those so we cut those let's go copy and close that group and now we're all the way back here turn on our textures again and we can paste those edges in and what we would do here is I'm going to use the extrude edges by vector tool that's a part of extrusion tools from TIG and I'm going to grab that and that one's right here and now we can just click one corner and click another corner with our edges still selected and that will go through and give us a nice clean quad based extrusion and yes I will reverse those faces and no 
I'm going to leave that in a group. Now we can get in here and see what we've created. We can delete this bottom piece here. We'll group that and delete it and then delete this upper connection here. And now we can get in and use something like joint push pull and let me grab that here and now we can actually pull this and give our curb a little bit of thickness and you see we still have good clean quad geometry and we can go on the other side and do the same thing select all of this and let's run joint push pull and we can bring that out whatever that initial distance was and you can see now we have a nice curb here coming up and around and I have a material over here that's a concrete material with a joint in it And I'm going to borrow this. And with our same quad mesh UV mode, let's get back over here and let's get in to our curb. And I just want to soften everything, make sure the outer edges here, the connecting edges are softened as well. Make texturing a little bit easier and we can utilize that surface selection mode in through paint and let's just drop in our concrete texture and wrap it down around the side now we can go and scale that as needed we have our joints in there and we can do the same thing on this side And we can see now we have a good clean curb here that follows the road and everything is beautifully conformed to our terrain surface. So I hope that was helpful and we will see you in the next episode.